Welcome back to another Fly of the Month brought to you by Ultimate Sport Fishing Adventures. It's, it's October and we're going to tie up uh, a fly for the chum salmon that we've had, uh, we have in the rivers right now. Um, I call it the Purple People Eater. Uh, pretty basic fly. We use a TMCO 2 watt, uh, I think it's a uh, TMC 7 triple nine or something like that. Uh, no big deal. This is a good, a strong number two salmon hook. Uh, I use some uh, 6 aught purple tying thread and uh, I tie in a set of eyes on this fly just to give it a bit of weight and uh, I of course crimp down the barb. So the thing we're going to start with here is we have two pieces of marabou. Um, we've got a purple and a charisse. So what I do is I just tie those right on top. Um, we're going to palmer these in so it's nothing to get too serious about here. Pretty simple. Just tie the tips in. We're going to cut off the excess there. Just clip that off. Get rid of that. And uh, as you can see, we've got two pieces of marabou. Now, when you pick your marabou, try to pick good marabou. You know, uh, you go into the fly shop and you, you spend five or six bucks for a bag of marabou and you come home and it's all it's all real crappy and crummy. So actually pull it out of the bag when you're in the fly shop and have a look at it. Make sure it's what you want. You want something with a nice soft stem and uh, it's easy to work with. So we're going to just tie those in with the tips, make a few turns. We're going to fluff that up a little bit. I mean, uh, these chums aren't too picky with, with what they're going to eat. Just as long as it's got the right color. Like Henry Ford said, you can have it in any color you want as long as it's black. And that's, uh, that's the same thing with these chum salmon. As long as it's purple, they will eat it. So as you can see, this is getting big and fluffy. It's a little, you know, a little unruly, but it, uh, it'll be good when it's in the water. You'll see, we'll see the end result here in a second. So yeah, three or four turns with that. Just fluff it up. Tie in the butts nice and tight. Just like so. This vice is moving all over the place here. So just yeah, fluff that up. I mean, it's going to look a little crazy to start with, but uh, we're going to tame it down in a second here. So we'll get that back centered for us, and we pull all of that back and secure those butt sections in there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to put a bit of flash in there because they like it nice and flashy. So we've got some uh, some crystal flash here. It's like a purple crystal flash. What I do is I lay, I don't know, six or eight strips down on one side, just about there, tie it just under the eye of the hook, and a few wraps there. And I take the other end, lay it on the other side, just like so. This is looking pretty big and bushy, but it's going to look good when we're done. So there we go. We've got that, that flashaboo in there and two pieces of marabou. The last thing we're going to tie in here is a piece of purple schlap, and I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, this is a nice webby piece. We picked a good piece here. And uh, we just tie that in by the butt on the front, in front of the flashaboo. Just bomb that on there like that. Tie that in nice and tight so it doesn't come loose. Then we're going to attach our hackle pliers, grab it by the tip, and we're going to pump. Whoopsie. Make sure you get a good grip on there. Or she'll come out again. And then we're going to go, I don't know, three wraps, four wraps, something like that. Let's wrap it up towards the eye. Get all those facing backwards. It's a pretty bushy looking fly, but trust me, <laughs> catches fish. And then just tie in that tip section, just like so. Move this over there a little bit away from the camera because I keep bumping it. And then we'll get rid of that tip end. Pull all of that back, like so and make sure they're all facing back towards the rear. Get rid of that guy there. Let's get rid of him before we tie in that head. I mean, it looks big and bushy, but when it's in the water, it's pretty sparse. So, we've taken a few wraps behind the eye. We'll go in front of the eye, make a nice little build up, a nice little purple head. 
you don't need much. Just like so, we got our uh, handy dandy whip finisher out and uh, lay a whip finish on that thing. Just like so, easy peasy, nothing to it. Clip off your tying thread and a uh, little dab of head cement on there. I like the, uh, the hard as nails product, uh, a little bit too much there. Just a little dab on there, just to keep things in order. And there you have it, the, uh, the purple people eater. Catching lots of chum salmon up on the Harrison River with that guy there. And uh, hope it works out for you. So check back next month and uh, we'll see what we can come up with on the bench. Take care, tight lines. Mm -hmm.